Hello, and welcome back to Tea with Tracy. Come and see you live every Tuesday at 12, spilling relevant tips, trends, and talk in all things real estate and home ownership related. Today, we're continuing on with a local community services series. Uh, last week, I had on Joe Johnson of ONTV, and this week, I have joining me the interim director of the Orion Township Library, Kathleen Kwiatkowski. Without further ado, let's get Kathleen on to join us. Hi, Hello. Kathleen. How are you? Hi, I'm great. How are you? I am fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us today. I appreciate you being here. Of course. I'm excited to talk about some, some library services. Yes, there are a lot of things happening at the library. Um, it's so nice that we're starting to open back up again and get back to some of the the normal programming. I know when you and I chatted the other day, I'm excited for all that is to come. Um, yeah. So you're serving right now as interim director of the library, mm -hmm. uh, but you've actually been with the library for almost 10 years now, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. So I've actually, I've had the privilege to wear a couple of different hats here. I was originally hired as the teen librarian. And then about five or six years after that, I kind of switched into adult services. And then for the last two and a half years, my actual title has been the head of adult services. So okay. that's my actual position as head of adult services. And then when our um, pre previous director um, got a new, like really great opportunity out of state, you know, they kind of needed someone to fill in as interim director and our our board of directors decided to go with me. So I'm kind of doing both both jobs now, probably until at least about the end of the year. Okay. So you have a lot on your plate, but obviously they know you can handle it. And um, I'm sure there's lots of faces out there that recognize your face, um, especially if they've been into adult services. Um, so thank you. Thank you for serving our community and our library. And uh, tell us what what's happening, what's coming up this uh, fall season at the library. Oh, thank you. So we, we have some big projects, for all, which I'll get to in just a second, but I kind of wanted to talk about um, our programs for all ages. So I think that's like a really good thing to kind of share is we do have programs for specific audiences, like we'll have like a youth specific program or teen or adult program, but we also do some all ages programs. So that's appropriate. Like if you just want to come like on your own, if you want to come with a family, something like that. So kind of coming up, what we have in the fall is we have on October 4th, we have a pumpkin decorating contest. And so the libraries are going to provide like the little pie pumpkins and um, you'll have some place online on our website that you can submit like whatever you design and decorate. And then anyone who submits something uh, will get to vote. And then anyone, um, any, uh, there'll be a, a last winner and then the winner will get a gift card to Gate Cider Mill. Okay. And then we also have an International Games Day, and that will be in um, November, on November 6th. And that's really for everyone, all ages, families yeah. to come and participate and play board games. And we'll have like games and snacks and things like that. That is a fun um, event. I know my kids and yeah. I, we've participated in that in the past, and it is so much fun. So it is. Yeah, it is. And we have a really great collection of board games. So, and sometimes board games are a little expensive. So if you're not sure if you want to buy one for the family or not, like this is a really great opportunity for you to come and, you know, try out a board game and just try something new. Yeah. And meet new friends as well. I know that was, that was part of it as well. We played games to, you know, just our family, but then we also met others as well. So that was fun. Yeah. So um, and then I have a couple more I can tell you about. Yeah. Keep going, please. <laughs> um, so that we also we also have in October we have a Halloween escape room. So normally we would do our annual haunted house that's kind of put on by our teen librarians and run by teens, and it's for the the younger kids, kind of like K through five, or really even birth through five. Like, you know, we do a lot of like family friendly, like just just very light, spooky decorations and things like that. But yeah. this year, instead of doing our haunted house, we're actually doing um, a Halloween escape room. So we have a couple of different times for a Halloween escape room and we're tailoring it to different age groups. So okay. if you're, you know, if you're a group of adults that want to come into our Halloween escape room, yeah. you know, we'll have that. We'll have a time for teens and then we'll have a time also for families. Oh, that'll be so much fun. Yeah, I can see doing it a couple different times, both with, uh, well, my girls, my oldest two will be off to college, but my son is still around. So I can see us doing that with probably some of his friends and then also just getting a group of friends together. Escape rooms are, are fun. I'm excited for the change and the new new event coming up at the library. Yeah, it should, it should be really fun. And then just the last one that I want to mention is more of like a save the date for winter as we do an annual winter workshop every year. And so that'll be a little bit later um, towards the end of the year in December. And that'll again will be like 
crafts, activities, and fun for kind of like the family. We have like all ages and we'll do um, like some crafts that are adult specific and youth specific. And usually we'll have some kind of treat, like we'll do like cookies and hot chocolate. So we have that coming up and our save the date for that is December 11th. December 11th. Okay. So there's yeah. lots of fun events coming up at the library and you're open again, right? If somebody wants to come in and browse and check out books or movies or other media, you're open and yeah. available. Yeah. So, so we're open, like our, just our full regular hours, um, you know, which is like Monday through Thursday day from 9 30 to 9 and then friday and saturday from 9 30 to 5 and then once the school year starts up we'll open again on sundays from 1 to 5 so our okay. first sunday open will be september 12th okay so that's coming up like oh, as yeah. much as i don't want summer to go by <laughs> september <laughs> is is uh closing in on us so i know it's, it's it's close august is already going fast i know how are we halfway through it <laughs> Oh, uh, so in addition to, you know, books, which most people know about, which one thing that I know we were talking about that some people know about, some don't, is that if there is a book that you would like to check out and we don't have it in the Orion Township Library, you have the ability to borrow that book from another library and it will actually be shipped right right to the Orion Township Library. Yeah, so that's a, this is a really neat service for Orion residents. It's called uh, MELCAT, which stands for the Michigan E-Library. So let's say that there's something like that you really want, or it's deep in a series, or maybe even if it's like a little bit more obs obscure, you know, like libraries can't purchase like every single item. Um, what we can do is we can search that database and it pretty much searches like all the other libraries in Michigan. And if another library has it, we can request it and they can send it to us. And then a patron can pick it up here, read it, enjoy it, drop it back off at their home library, and we'll, we'll then send it back. Um, and, and that's not even just for books. You can do that with um, like the books, the audio books, CDs, you know, a lot of different material types. Yeah. I, I mean, I've done it before, mostly with books, but it is it's fantastic. I mean, it's it's no different than if I were to put a book on hold at the Orion Library, come pick it up mm -hmm. and and be able to enjoy it. So yeah, so that's that's awesome. Um, what else do we have? I know you're mentioning that there are some other special features that we have that recently opened at the library. Um, you were mentioning like your space maker or maker space. Maker space. Maker yeah. space. So yeah. Um, so we do have um, a makerspace at our library and really a makerspace is a collaborative space where patrons can come and use like different types of like technology and work on projects either alone or together. And we do have makerspace programs that we that we put on um, a couple times a month or every other month, kind of depending on our schedule. But actually in the makerspace, we have like just a variety of different equipment. Um, I would say our two most popular pieces of equipment are um, our Cricut cutting machine. And if you're familiar with the Cricut, um, you can use it to like cut vinyl, um, cut like iron on. So you can make things like T-shirts, you can make stencils. Um, and then you can also use um, like special Cricut pens. And you can do calligraphy. So it's actually really cool. I actually used it. I actually used it myself and I used the calligraphy feature to address all of my wedding invitations. So oh. it looked like someone like actually professionally like the calligraphy for the invitation. So that was really neat. Wow. And then I would say, I would say our other most popular piece of equipment is our Glowforge engraver. Um, so that's a piece of equipment that um, it's a laser and basically it engraves like a variety of different material types. So um, one thing that a lot of people do come like the holidays is they'll buy like a big cutting board and they want to put like a family's last name or something on it. So mm -hmm. you can put like the actual full cutting board in the Glowforge. Okay. You can engrave like a last name, a date or something like that. Um, and then you can give that as a gift. So Yes. Oh, that's, that's you. It. You have the wheels turning because I give gifts to clients, closing gifts. So hmm. <laughs> yeah, but that's I really cool. And um, the, the that what that one does require a little bit of extra training because it is like an actual laser and there is the risk of like obviously something can catch on fire like that's, right. <laughs> that's never happened here or anything like that. Um, but we do require if you go to our website at orionlibrary.org slash makerspace, we kind of have a form that you can fill out. Okay. And we do have a really great like adult and makerspace librarian, and he does one-on-one -on -one trainings with people, and he'll train train you on how to you know safely use this equipment. Okay, so you can go to the the website. I'm sure you could also stop in and and put in your request. 
Um, so, but make sure you get the training. We want to make sure that the yeah. nothing gets us on fire and that the equipment is there for future use. So, <laughs> yes, for sure, for sure. So. And, and there's a, there's a lot of other things, you know, in the maker space. We do have um, like a VHS to DVD converter. That one's pretty popular. So okay. if you have like those old VHS tapes where you yeah. had like that really big, you know, camcorder, right? That you use, yeah, family um, videos. Because, if you have family videos from way back when and you want to convert them, it sounds like you have the ability to do that. Yep, yep. So we can do that. And there's a, there's a lot of other things. And you can kind of read all about it, on, like I said, on our website, okay. orionlibrary.org slash makerspace. Okay, that's great. Well, make sure you check it out if you're interested in some of the technology in the makerspace area. Um, you also have, in addition to the libraries, um, events, you have outreach programs as well, right? I know I recently had on um, Jason of Oat Soda, and he was mentioning that he's doing a beer class in um, conjunction with the library. So yes, so we do, we have someone that runs our outreach department, and she has um, two people that kind of work under her, and we do, so outreach deals a lot with um, like the special population. So they might, okay. they might be patrons with special needs, they might be senior citizens, um, they might be English language learners, um, and then really just anything out in the community, just doing the outreach. So going to like nursing homes and businesses and things like that. So the one that you mentioned, as we do, is we have Oat Soda What Is Craft Beer, and that's on Monday um October 25th and so you can go to Oat Soda and basically learn about all the craft beer <laughs> so that's a fun outreach program but it sounds like yeah. you do have so many programs um that are helpful to the community in different ways that if if someone mm -hmm. if you're out there and you're searching for a way to get connected um or an activity regardless of your ability or status the library is a great place to check in because it sounds like you have different programs to cover everyone, basically. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And our newsletter, um, so our fall newsletter, that's hopefully we're in Orion Living. Yep. That will be out in mailboxes, you know, end of August, beginning of September. And we're kind of near the back and that'll have like everything that we've got going on for kids, teens, adults, seniors, families, okay. whatever you're looking for. Yeah. The Orion Living Magazine, that was a great, that's been a great piece that the community of Orion's kind of come together, the township, the library, um, you know, so many of the different organizations put all the information in one spot. So it's, it's yeah. great. So it's a great thing to check out. Yes. So um, anything else, Kathleen, that you want us to know about the library or what the library has to offer? Anything so, we missed? Sure. The <laughs> Well, I could I could really talk I know, forever. I know. I know we have a little bit of a time limit here. So the last thing that I kind of want to touch on and let people know is, you know, libraries are known always for like their books and things that they check out. But we do have a lot of really great um, online databases and resources um, and you can access them from our website. And just a couple that I want to touch on is um, we have Hoopla, which is it's an app that you can download. And that'll give you access to downloadable audiobooks, ebooks. And a lot of people don't know is you can also get um, CDs, you can get music, you can get movies, and also TV shows with that service. Oh, so, I, I love um, Hoopla. Yes, I love it yeah. for the audiobooks because if I'm driving or, you know, doing something around the house, it's nice sometimes to be able to listen to a book. So, yeah, I, I listen, I always listen. I never listen to the radio. I'm always listening to just audiobooks to, yeah. <laughs> to and from work. So, Hoopla is really great. Um, and then we also have Cloud Library, which is going to give you downloadable um, audiobooks and ebooks. And that's the same with Libby. You'll get the downloadable audio and ebooks with that. And then we have one that's like slightly newer is Canopy, and that will give you kind of more of like the award-winning and documentary type um, type movies okay. uh, or, or like maybe a little bit harder to find films. Okay. And those, that will just be a database that we have that's all movies. Okay. That's great. So if you're looking for a movie that's not necessarily mainstream, a little bit harder to find, it sounds like you can find that on Canopy through the library. So, yeah, and you just need to use these apps. You just need your library card, right? A valid library card to sign yeah, in. So you just, so you just need your Orion library card and they're just all free apps that you would download. So if you go to, you just go to your app store, download the app, it'll ask you for your library card number and your home library, and then you have access to everything. That's awesome. That is awesome. So if you haven't been to the library lately, drop in, say hi, make sure your library card is up to date 
and uh, check out all of the great resources and programs that are available to our community. So thank you so much for joining me today, Kathleen, and, and sharing. And uh, thank you all for viewing, whether live or on the replay. Um, we appreciate you. And uh, we'll see you next Tuesday on Tea with Tracy. Right. Okay. Thank you so much, Tracy. All right. Thank you, Kathleen. Bye-bye.